On to race number four. We're back on the turf for the fourth of the afternoon. This is a 1,000-metre dash class three contest. Kai Ying legend drops back into this grade. Victor Wong takes seven pounds off from Barry Three. Starling City, very impressive last time out, gets eight, and Douglas White. Uh, Money Boy reunited with Joe Moreira, who's won him in the past. Winning ways is a huge run at massive odds last time out, finishing fourth to Starling City. Triumph for Jules won two of his three starts so far this season. Simply big behind Dragon Pioneer over the 1,000 at Happy Valley last time out. Diamond Dragons behind My Beginner's Luck here course and distance last time out and Jim Doughty Joyful Family another one behind Starling City last time out he was a big price as well but beaten nearly 10 lengths money boy winning ways racing fighter and young legend have all made the trip north within the last 30 days I don't reckon there's anything that can test Starling City should he step well obviously blinkers back on last start and they did the trick he was super impressive again from barrier 8 he can probably cross those to his left and find that outside rail from there, he'll be the one to beat. Yeah, here he is uh, as well. You can see him in his track work. Uh, just pulling a little bit down the back straight, quite keen. Um, and it was a good win once the bleakers went on. I thought he was a bit disappointing behind my beginner's luck, but he bounced back nicely last start. So it was a really good win from him. And uh, his track work suggests he's OK. Uh, winning ways, we, I made him a horse to follow out of his last start because it was a impressive fourth behind Styling City, although a way back. Expect him to run well again. He's come on nicely, so he's definitely an improved horse. He was massive odds on that day as well, over about 100 to 1. And Triumph and Jill, look how keen he is. He's the one on the inside in the green saddlecloth, uh, with Grand Van Niekerk on. He's getting on in age now, but he's had a good season. He's, he's won two out of three, mm. so he looks good. All right, this is the first leg of the uh, triple trio as well, so just over 2 million going into the pool. Estimated dividend in the region of $5 million for the triple trio. It's a jackpots galore on Sunday. We start off with a whole host of them here. Ultimately, they're all chasing home Styling City, but this was the winning ways race that Paul was talking about too. 56.64 was the time recorded by Styling City. Now, he's got an extra stone to carry, plus a pound, and that can stop trains, as we know. But over the 1,000, I don't think it's quite as relative. It's obviously there, but I still think he's going to find the, the front and be very difficult to catch. I can't really see anything from this race turning around that big a margin despite the weight increase. Yeah, I agree. And I've got a, I've got one to beat him at a, at a price, but I just think he's going to come up short, isn't he? Odds on and I would have thought so. But he is the one to beat. Yeah. OK, that's Styling City. Money Boy has been a decent money spinner for connections. This is him finishing at second two starts back over the 1,000 at Happy Valley. Yep, form's a little bit patchy. Um, last season he, um, he was quite a good money spinner, as you mentioned. So far this term he's had one good run and a, a couple of average ones. But he's capable course and distance. The man aboard him knows him well. Um, I've got him in the tips, but I think Styling City will have his measure. He's an iron horse, isn't he, a money boy? He's, uh, he's had plenty of runs, so he'll be fit. He's had three already this season. Draw barrier 11 as well, so a high draw made aid his chances somewhat. Triumphant Jewel, as we touched on, has had a, a great season so far. The, uh, the eight-year-old winning two of his three starts and runner-up behind my beginner's luck. He's going well. Up. Jimmy Ting's got him going well, hasn't he, this horse? And, look, he's won... Um, as we mentioned, one, two, and then he ran second behind my beginners like there last time. His trial here has been pretty good. His track work's good. So, look, I, I couldn't leave him out. I found a place for him. Same. And you mentioned, Paul, that he's been a bit keen in his work. If you go right back to the early stages of his career, at some time ago, he's having started at 71, he was a speed horse. He was a jump and run yeah, was, up on the pace horse. Um, obviously had a lot of soundness issues and... Now he's sort of been getting back and closing off. But that bit of track work Paul highlighted says he may be a little bit closer in the run with the weight for Styling City, brings him into it potentially a little closer. All right, Styling City favourite. You've got one to beat him, though, Paul? Yeah, $35 at the moment, 34 to 1. That's an e-super. He used to be a specialist down the straight 1,000. He's won a couple of times down it. He, he's also been beaten a nose on a couple of occasions as well. Uh, he's won off a rating of um, 78 before. He's now rated 76. Barrier 2 hasn't been a disadvantage this season. The horses have come across and have won. So at, such, at a big price, I think Styling City will come up short. I think he's worth the chance back to the straight 1,000. He'll enjoy the change. He's on top to beat the two Styling City. Triumphant Jewel we've talked about and winning ways. He's the one, one at odds. but Oh, another one at odds. 3, 2, 9 and 6. But 3 each way, he'll be my long shot. Fair enough, Paul. Um, I'm going to tip Starling City. Uh, no brownie points for that, obviously. He's the, the logical selection. Um, Triumph and Jewel, if he lays up a bit closer for the reasons I mentioned earlier, could potentially run him down um, with Starling City having to carry the bigger weight. I think Diamond Dragon's in the same category. He's a strong finisher. Money Boy will probably be stalking a length or two behind the pace. 
Um, and then the other one I wanted to sneak in, I think, is simply Big Who's improving. Um, some street somewhere, I'm not sure what to do with him. Uh, they're throwing him all over the place. 1,000, 12, 16, 50, now back to 1,000. He can run, but I'm bamboozled. Mm. Jerome Moss here, right from Barrier 14. Yes, Darling City for me, but I have got Simply Big in as well. I think he's yeah. an interesting runner here down the straight. That was race number four, first leg of the Triple Trio. So we'll uh, take a short break here, come back with race number five, which is the first leg of the six up.